thumbs up for the go-getters the ambition list appears they should know better no better we owe nothing but hard so my name is Anders Borg I'm from Denmark and I've been training freestyle for like 10 years now and uh, my biggest inspiration in freestyle especially in the beginning is like in the room just behind us it's uh, Rocco from Hungary I mainly love lower freestyle which is uh, what I do most of the time and uh, no touches I think my style has changed a lot like when I was um, very small it looked uh, a bit more difficult for me um, and maybe I think that helped me so I learned the tricks when I was uh, really small and then I grew and the tricks became easier for me so maybe that's why uh, my style is kind of relaxed now uh, because I learned the tricks when it was really difficult for me and I was short and now that I'm like regular height it's uh, a bit easier for me but I don't really uh, think about it I don't really like the train style it's just like natural for me, uh, like the reason why I enjoy freestyle is uh, obviously to have fun and uh, I think I wouldn't be freestyling if it wasn't for competition like this and uh, like traveling. Like for me the best part about freestyle is where it has taken me like here in Poland or China or Australia or Brazil. Like that's the best thing about freestyle for me is uh, traveling and meeting new people for sure. I think it's difficult to learn freestyle like if you compare it to football like everybody can play football but if you want to train freestyle you have to like be able to juggle first and that's really hard <coughs> as well as uh, like improving in general like when you get injured like a lot of lower freestyle does um, it's uh, sometimes hard to find motivation because you gotta stay outside in the rain for like two hours to see an improvement and you gotta do it like almost every day um, so I think that's the hardest part, you know, just to keep going. Polish freestyle has always been like top, top level, especially when I began freestyling with the uh, Skora and Shumo and the old school legends. But I think Scandinavia is like becoming better now, especially in Norway. We've seen a lot of great freestylers from there uh, and Sweden as well. Denmark is a bit behind, I think, but we're getting there as well. We have a lot of good young guys. And uh, now in Poland as well, there's like maybe five freestylers who could be world champions. So uh, it's great to come to Poland and uh, watch the freestyle scene here in the community. I think like watching all of the freestylers, uh, it's, it's clear to see that a lot of them are training for battles. Uh, Back in the day when I was freestyling, like everyone was just training lowers and then when we had competitions, people would do lowers and as soon as they did sits or rubbers, it would be like shit. Um, but now you can see, especially these young Polish freestylers, they're really good at all round and uh, thinking about training for battles and that's nice to see. Uh, so I'm sure like Poland will be on the top of freestyle in like 10 years as well, like they are now. I think freestyle has changed a lot. I've, like. Back in the day, uh, the level was not as high as it is now, and um, freestyle is much more all-round and focused on uh, competitions. Uh, it used to be all about uh, YouTube and making hardcore videos, but now you don't really see uh, many videos on YouTube. It's most like preparing for a competition and then watching a live stream or maybe posting a clip to Instagram now and then. But uh, I kind of miss the, the old school YouTube videos and uh, just training for, for fun. Uh, which I know a lot of people still do, but it feels like the really good guys are just training for a competition sometimes. So yes. Oh Leia, where's your outfit from? I think like in general, freestyle is very different uh, depending on who you watch freestyle. And that's like a good thing about it, but it's also a weakness <laughs> when it comes to uh, competitions. Like it's really difficult to judge. Uh, but at the same time it's what, it's what makes it worth watching because you never know what you're gonna get and it's um, very nice to see unique freestylers uh, and that's not a bad thing it's just uh, one of the things that makes it difficult to judge and uh, sometimes people would think that it's an unfair result for some reason uh, yeah okay I don't think I have a very structured uh, freestyle way of training um, 
usually like when I'm in good shape, I train maybe five or six times a week uh, and then probably one to two hours at a time. Uh, for warm up, I don't really do any uh, running or like I do a bit of stretching. Uh, otherwise, I'll just do basic combos. So like hop the world around the world, hop the world around the world and use both feet. Uh, and then I'll just slowly go into uh, the harder stuff. But I want like I should be spending more time of warming up, but usually I'll get impatient and just start doing hard combos after five minutes maybe. Um, but yeah, I think that might be why I'm injured sometimes, but uh, that's just the way it is when you're not, not so patient. I feel like I enjoy freestyle the most when I'm at a top level, like right now, I'm coming back from an injury and it's like, oh, it's a bit annoying and oh, I can't do the numbers I want to do, but I think when I get older and my body will age and I'll get tired quickly, quickly I'll be like frustrated, but I still think I'll freestyle when I'm 50, hopefully. Like, I have this idea that I'll have kids and they'll play football or something and then I'll be like able to show them one note touch or something, that'll be pretty cool when I'm 50. Yeah, that's the, that's the goal, yeah, being able to do uh, AMA TV, AMA, AMA TV notes as one on 50. Yeah. For me, since I started freestyling, uh, note touches has been like the holy grail, like the thing I wanted to do the most. So I've always, always trained that a lot. So uh, getting to 26 is like frustrating because when you get to 20 and you drop it it's like you're really tired and, but you just gotta keep going like anything else um, and the technique I think is just remember to train both legs like as much as you can and uh, drink a lot of water I think that helps on stamina and uh, besides that it's just keep training you know. Uh, the limit is, uh, I think we've seen, like, from when I started, I thought the limit was like, oh, 10 AMA to no touch, that's like impossible to reach, like when Scora did it, uh, or one PHV, like when Pally did that, oh, that's not possible. But now we're seeing guys like like you almost doing like a four rep. So I'm pretty sure like a four rep is possible, and I'm sure like um, you can do more than 32 AMA TVs, which is the world record right now, like possibly 40 or even more. It's just about matter about keep breaking the boundaries and uh, keep training but uh, it, it's scary to think about but I, I think we're gonna reach the limit kind of soon maybe yeah. because people are just so good right now and it's hard to imagine imagine people being much better than they are now it's good to play, play freestyle because you'll meet your best friends through freestyle and uh, the feeling you get when you land a new trick or a new combo is like unlike anything else it's the best feeling you can get that's why it's because to play freestyle.